Ladies and gentlemen, this match, one fall with a 10-minute time limit. Introducing first from Scott. And Abdullah the Butcher not even waiting for introduction. Bruce Tharp beat a hasty exit, and it is Abdullah the Butcher uh, hurdling. Uh, he has got the young Scott McGee outside the ring, smashed him into a ring post. And it's Abdullah the Butcher just gone berserk here. He's got uh, Scott McGee smashing him against the uh, ring post outside. McGee has had no chance at all to move against Abdullah the Butcher. The bell never rang. The introductions were never made. The wild man from the Sudan just completely uh, went berserk here as he went after uh, Scott McGee. And Scott McGee into our desk here and Scott McGee hurdles to the uh, concrete once again and McGee in a lot of trouble as Abdullah the Butcher and this is the thing about the man he is uh, almost in uh, one can almost say completely uncontrollable he as I said before many times seems totally impervious to pain Scott McGee badly lacerated but uh, still a great great courage great fighting heart McGee gamely making his way back toward the ring and I'm afraid uh, buddy that this situation for uh, Scott McGee uh, the man's ever going to make it back to the ring. Well, Scott McGee had half a chance. He might have really, or he could very well possibly defeated Abdul Bush because, of course, Scott McGee is the former heavyweight champion. But uh, he just didn't have a chance from the beginning. Uh, the butcher attacked him from the rear and just stayed on him. He's trying to annihilate this man. Uh, this is just, uh, it's, it's really, it's going too far. Scott McGee hasn't had a chance. Uh, Abdul the butcher is wanting to inflict pain. He's just chewing on his head like some kind of a savage animal. Uh, the man is, like you said, is uncontrollable. He's McGee! And brother, you talk about a male little Scotsman. This fellow is. It's McGee exploding all over Abdullah the Butcher. This Florida heavyweight champion, former champion with a great, great fighting heart. Got him with a beautiful fight. No, he can got Abdullah the Butcher down. He's got the Butcher down. It's Scott McGee setting his man. And watch McGee as he goes outside the ring. Brother, you talk about bombs away. They're coming here. Scott McGee poised on the top of the... Abdullah the Butcher rolled partially out of the way and McGee ended up coming down on the back of his head and his shoulders and it is Abdullah the Butcher pounding away at Scott McGee. Scott McGee dazed, stunned, coming off of that rope and it's Abdullah the Butcher down across him. He's got the three count. He's got the three count. Buddy, I want to get to ringside and talk to Mr. Holiday about this. Well, you know, Scott McGee, being a former heavyweight champion of Florida, this is quite a wrestler. And uh, what Abdullah the Butcher did to Scott McGee, he's still in there. He still has his forearm across the throat. Uh, it's just incomprehensible to see a man act this way in professional wrestling. Look like the uh, referee and uh, Jim Holiday are trying to get this man under control if he can be brought under control. Now let's go to Gordon Soley at ringside. Well, all I can say is that uh, I trust that you have this man completely under control, Mr. Holiday. I have everything under control here, and every day is a holiday from now on out. I want you to look at here. Ten thousand dollars. The most devastating, most awesome force to ever step into a wrestling ring. Look at here. Let's get this camera in here. Ten thousand dollars cash to any man who can pin the shoulders of this gentleman here. Now you just saw what happened to your ex-champion here, your ex-Florida heavyweight champion. What happened, huh? Look at him over here. He can't even get up. This is what's going to happen to any man who steps in the ring with the wildest, craziest, most insane man who ever mauled anybody who ever stepped in a wrestling ring. $10,000 to any man who can pin the shoulders of this vicious animal to the mat. Oh, Scott McGee has been uh, is being removed from the ring at this time. A uh, stretcher has been brought out. And Scott McGee uh, being uh, taken now to receive medical aid. And uh, this man, Abdullah the Butcher, uh, 
Well, frankly, I don't know what else to say about him except that, uh, Mr. Dillon, this is... Malapita, Malapita, this is a very, very proud moment for me. When I look at this magnificent individual, I remember back to Manila in the Philippines. I remember back to Jakarta. <laughs> I remember back to Sydney, Australia. Malapita, Malapita, Enoti, Enotu, Enotu, Nesetani. I remember back to all the exotic countries in the world where this man struck terror. This is my black specimen. Well, actually, the Arab, his black specimen. One of the most awesome forces that professional wrestling has ever known. He has terrified every arena in the world. There is not a man, hey, Malapita. There is not a man who could stand up to him. And for Mr. Holiday to take this incredible sum of $10,000, to anybody that can pin his shoulders, that money's as good as in the bank, drawing compound interest, because there's not a man in wrestling that can hold this force down. Nobody can touch him. Scott McGee, Florida champion, magnificent athlete, undefeated on television today, the strongest challenge that could possibly be thrown at the black specimen, and he was there to stand up to the challenge, and this is only the first step because I feel so good about what Jim Holiday has done, and he is going to take this man to the right. unknown before so family take notice blackjack ball again you've been pushing people around for too long the american dream just the road you've been pushing people too long angelo musk anybody else who wants to step forward gentlemen him has the black uh, well, I'll tell you what. i think we've had uh, quite enough of this we'll be back with another match in just a moment